Hi there, I'm Nick Marshall, Assistant Producer at Mastertronic, and I'm here to show you a short demonstration of gameplay from Montague's Mount. As the salty water withdraws from my eyes, my focus pulls in upon my feathered friends watching me from above. I'm guessing overboard. Yes, that is what must have befallen me. I, I must have somehow been washed overboard. My clothes would suggest a life upon the seas, although I have no memories of such an existence, or any existence for that matter. Even my own name is currently hiding itself from me. I must find out what has led me to this beach and somehow leave this place. So far, we've released just a teaser of the game, and we've only showed it to the public on one occasion. So today, I wanted to show off a little bit more of what the game's like and how it works. Please be aware that this demo is from an early beta build of the game, so there may be minor glitches as well as content that isn't implemented yet. Here is pretty much the opening section of the game. After waking up amidst the wreckage of a boat, the player must travel across a mysterious island in search of a way home. We love the idea of starting a game by confronting the player with lots of questions and mystery. We wanted to move away from the typical settings of first-person games, like jungles and urban landscapes, and try something new. With Matt, the creator and lead developer being based in the Republic of Ireland, we have plenty of inspiration close to hand. To give the landscape a distinctive feel, we have taken elements of rural Ireland, like stone cottages, and placed them in a state of disarray. Things that may have evoked rural beauty are twisted here to make the player feel uneasy. Another day, whose sky has been bled dry of all colour by this all-absorbing greyness. If it wasn't for the subtle adjustments in hue, day and night would fail to be distinct. This place is like a clock, whose pendulum has ceased to swing, whose grand façade is scarred by the lifting veneer of time. Its all engulfing greyness is now playing upon me. I can feel myself teetering at the edge of this colourless chronometer. Tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock, tock. Montague's Mount does contain horror elements, but we didn't want to resort to gore or shock tactics. There are certainly some frightening moments, but in keeping with the themes of isolation and desolation, we want the player to feel like they are alone and suffering internally, rather than under threat of attack.
aimed for an authentic depiction of life on an island, and so a lot of attention has been given to the weather. Storms come and go on Monsky's Mount, the skies will darken, the trees will sway in the wind, and your vision will be obscured by raindrops. Montague's Mount is focused on puzzles, but there's a huge amount of exploration and discovery that forms part of the narrative. It's a simple setup of using the mouse to look around and interact with the world, and the keyboard to navigate it. Much has obviously happened here, a truly forgotten part of the world. All these possessions that lay strewn around me are windows to someone's existence. Or are they in fact my own memories, trapped within my mind, forgotten about, locked deep within its grey interior? I feel like someone is watching me from within the empty shells of buildings that were once so full of life. Do I believe in God? The voice you're hearing is Derek Riddell, a Scottish actor you may have seen in shows like Ugly Betty and No Angels. We felt the dark and mature tone he provided was perfectly suited to the world of Montague's Mount and the thoughts of our protagonist. For those wondering, there's a reason why he's not Irish, but you have to play the game to find out. We believe Montague's Mount is the first PC game to feature Irish Gaelic, a language still predominant in Irish communities today, and Montague's Mount is one such community. When interacting with objects, you'll see their descriptions in Gaelic, as well as your own language. We have English, French, German, Spanish, Brazilian Portuguese, Polish, and Russian localizations implemented with full audio. <coughs> Thank you. 
Our short demo is coming to a close. We'd like to thank you for watching and just remind you that you can still vote for Montague's Mount on Steam Greenlight. It's also due for release on Get Games and Good Old Games on the 9th of October.